morning. My name's Vicky. And my name's Barry. And we are the Joint Ministers of Darlington Baptist Church. We want to thank you this morning for inviting us to share with you what God has been doing amongst us as a church over the last eight months. During July, Darlington Baptist Church spearheaded a series of drive-in church services at the Northern Echo Arena, providing the opportunity for the church to gather and worship together. We saw 150 cars a week attend the service, meaning that over 300 people gathered each week to worship God together over the four weeks of July. In the first lockdown, we saw our food bank usage increase greatly, something like 800% increase as money became tighter and people's circumstances changed. So despite all of the difficulties we faced during lockdown, the church here at Darlington decided to follow Christ in employing two new workers to manage our basement, which is our food bank and our soup kitchen. I want to just introduce you to Dawn and Pete today um, because we would really appreciate your prayers for them. Hi, my name's Peter, it's my wife Dawn. So yeah, as, as Vicky said, we've been employed by Darlington Baptist Church and we've got the, the amazing privilege to work with the most lost, the most broken, the most needy, um, and the most um, vulnerable people in Darlington. Um, I used, personally, I used to live in a bin myself many years ago when I, when I was an addict, but today, you know, I stand here healed, saved, redeemed, and with, with a real passion now to help people who are lost and broken and with addiction problems. Yeah, hi, as Pete said, I'm Dawn. I've been free of my addiction for coming up 11 years. I was an alcoholic for a good 20 years plus. Went into a Christian-based ministry called Battelle in Nottingham, and there um, I gave my life to God and I found freedom, grace, hope, love, and all those things I've been craving for. Uh, met Pete there, we got married, and then we have been called up to Darlington. We came up here in June to do God's work, and as Pete said, to help with the lost and the broken. And we have a real passion and a calling for what we do, and, and here we get the privilege of working in the basement to do that. And it's all down to God and what he's done in our life. So during the last four months of being here, we've had the privilege to actually be able to pray for people. Um, we've actually led a couple to Christ um, and, and really trying to minister into their lives, to see lives transformed. And, and we're actually getting to see more people just come in to want to have a cup of tea or a coffee and for us to be able to speak into their lives. And, and it's such a joy to be able to do, to, to see the men and the women that do come want to know more about our God. So as you can see, God has been at work amongst us despite all circumstances. Now, Darlington Baptist Church is a fairly newly formed church entity. This used to be two separate churches. There was Grange Road Baptist Church and Corporation Road Baptist Church, both of whom came together just a couple of years ago. And so not only do we have this building here, but we have another building across Darlington, um, Corporation Road, which for the last couple of years has really um, not operated as a church as such. And so during lockdown, we partnered with one of our congregation in forming a new ministry over there called Roots. And Roots works with addicts or those seeking to be free from their addiction. And so we have, during lockdown, gone from that building not being open very often during the week to being open three days a week for the local community, particularly those with addictions, where they can come, they can be given a recovery program. We're running the recovery course over there, along with Tony, Dawn, Pete. That, that's a weekly event. And we are seeing the lives of men and women changed and people broken free from addiction. But even more importantly than being broken free from addiction, we're seeing men and women bow the knee to Jesus for the very first time. When restrictions began to be lifted towards the autumn term, it became apparent to us that we weren't going to be able to worship as we previously had with over 100 people here together in our Grange Road building. We made the decision to open up once more our Corporation Road building, 
on a Sunday evening as well as maintaining our Sunday mornings here at Grange Road and opening a Wednesday afternoon service here especially for those who were a little bit more vulnerable or those who weren't able to come out on a Sunday morning or Sunday evening. We've also kept our online congregation going through through um, some great work from some of our church members. We've been able to stream our services, our Sunday morning service on YouTube live as it happens from this place. John chapter one tells a story of great hope when the writer states that the light shines in the darkness and the darkness has not overcome it. And the difficulties in the darkness of our circumstances do not overcome us as the people of God. And so we're coming today to ask you to pray for us as our family across the Northern Baptist Association. Would you pray for us for the possibility of a church-wide driving carol service towards Christmas time? Would you pray for us for our continued work with Dawn and Pete and the basement and all that God is doing down there? Would you pray for us for roots across at Corporation Road and those who are seeking to be set free from their addiction and find Jesus? And would you pray with us with our One Voice for One Voice Darlington and the other churches in this town? And would you pray with us for Vicky as she becomes the chair of Churches Together in Darlington? We'd also like you to pray for the unity amongst our four congregations, our online congregation, our Sunday morning, Sunday evening and Wednesday afternoon congregations. As we have um, grown over this last little while, there are new people who don't know one another and we would love to see God's unity remain in this place. So thank you for inviting us to share with you the joys of all that God has been doing in the midst of what have been a difficult set of circumstances. And we thank you for your prayers for the coming months ahead. Mm -hmm.